anybody who knows me knows I love effects pedals. In fact, I have a collection. It's awesome. I've got flangers, overdrives, tuner, of course, delays, and phasers. But, this one's special. Why is it special? It was my first. This is my Korg Axe-1G, given to me by my parents when I was 14. You might say it was the gateway drug, because after this, well, things got a little out of hand. Get a distortion pedal, get a tuner, get a phaser, buy a Line 6 pod, buy another phaser, buy a flanger. What can you do? But, although this isn't a lot like all the pedals that I use today, and the fact that this is a multi-effect, it got me started on a path of discovery. And I think that's what I love about effects pedals, including this one, and why I still hang on to it. I always find whenever I plug this thing in, that I'm discovering something about it that I hadn't known before. I mean, of course, when you're 14 years old, you have very little patience for instruction manuals. So, these days I find myself plugging it in and trying to explore some of the other features. You got a ton of different effects loaded in here, choruses, flangers, phasers. You can make this little rocker pedal act like a volume pedal or a wah pedal. Ring modulators, there's a built-in tuner. It's got amp mod modeling in it, it's got cabinet simulation in it, and well, you don't even have to have the cab simulation on it if you don't want to. There's fine tuning of EQ of your tone. I mean, this really, to start out, is pretty good. Not to mention the fact that you can actually uh, plug in a pair of headphones to the output and practice silently. I certainly wouldn't have done that back in the day. I wanted to turn my amp up loud. But yeah. This is what got me started. Am I gonna get rid of it? No. It's too near and dear. Too near and dear. <laughs>